Hi, and uh, welcome to the LB0 Fox India YouTube channel. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. And as you've seen, I've taken a, quite a bit of a liking of uh, Parks in the Air in 2022. And some of you guys might be new to Parks on the Air, so I figured I'd do a little bit of a walk through how, at least how I prepare for Parks on the Air. And just to give you some starters on how you can prepare for Parks on the Air as well. So um, let's move over to the Parks on the Air website and uh, just take a look at how I start preparing for an activation. When you uh, enter poda.app, the poda website, this is what meets you, a uh, list of the activations going on at the moment. But when we're going to prepare, that's not what we're going to look at, though. We're going to click up here in the uh, menu here and we're going to choose map. I find the map function the by far the easiest way of doing this. And uh, we are nowhere close to my geographical location at the moment. So we'll zoom out a little bit and go all the way to the southeastern corner of Norway right now. Or if you're somewhere else, you'll, you'll do somewhere else. But I'll show you uh, what I usually do. So this is my area. And as you can see here, there are quite a lot of parks nearby. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to focus on the park right here. Lima Alpha 2532 uh, Fredrikstad Fortress, which is a fortress pretty much in the middle of town. You can see it in uh, my intro uh, in the background. So uh, let's uh, zoom in on the map and figure exactly where that is. So we got the area around here. And as you can see, the parks on the air map is pretty detailed, but uh, perhaps it's not detailed enough for everything. So we're going to do another little trick here. We're going to enter Google Maps here. And what we can do here is that we can uh, just search for Fredrikstad Fortress. And it'll pop up right here. So let's zoom out a little bit here just to see. But what good is this? We're going to remove the sidebar bar here a little bit. Still a not as detailed map. You can zoom in a little bit and you'll have some details, but you don't really know what meets you when you get to the activation. So we're going to do a little bit of another trick. We're going to choose the satellite pictures from, uh, from Google Maps. From there, we can zoom in. And I know we have the entrance of the fortress right here. So let's follow the road. We got a little bit of a uh, parking space here and here. But we're going to go a little bit deeper into the area here. And the inner fortress is right here. And I'm going to do some activations there when weather permits. But uh, today weather does not permit it. We're going to look at that after a little while. But I know there's a little bit of a hill here. And it looks like there's a little bit of gravel here where you can park. So let's take the little Google guy here and uh, put him on the road and see what the area looks like. And it looks pretty flat, as you can see. It's on top of a hill, which is good. And it looks pretty easy to park. And there are some trees for antennas. There are uh, places for your car to park. There is a bench here, uh, but this map is actually from, or this picture is from October of 2019. So I can tell you that this bench is not here at the moment. But that doesn't matter for me today. I'm going to activate from my car. So I'm looking for a nice place to spot where I'm a little bit high up. So this looks like the spot. There is one thing though. I've checked the weather forecast today and it's it's windy. I'll put the weather forecast on top here so you can uh, see it. Uh, so I need a plan B in case it's too windy up here. So let's look around here and see what we can find. And there's actually a campsite here. And it looks like that's sheltered in between some hills. Uh, part of the fortress there and part of the fortress there. So looks like this area here is going to give us a little bit more shelter from the wind and that might be good to have as a backup plan 
So when that's done, there's uh, one more thing to do. And you can see the fortress to my uh, left here. Uh, when you've done your plans and kind of figured out where to where to go, you need to pack your equipment. And I've done a video about my mobile go bag. And my recommendation is for you guys to have something like that. I'll put the link up here. But do plan for some backup equipment. You might really only take one radio, but do bring a couple of antennas. Uh, today I'll bring an MFJ 1979 17-foot whip as my primary antenna, but I'll bring an NFED half-wave as a backup in case something should fail. Bring a battery and perhaps a backup battery and just check your equipment, double check that you've packed everything you need, have a couple of adapters, maybe a nano VNA or other antenna analyzer so you're prepared. So, we're all good to go now. We've packed our bag, we've checked the area. So let's go out uh, and do the activation. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do a couple of parks in the air contacts and uh, we'll get back home and I'll show you how we finish the uh, the activation by uploading our logs. So you've done all your planning and you've arrived at your parks on the air site. And um, I'm here at Park Lima Alpha 2532 Fredriksen Fortress. My usual parks on the air spot just because it's nearby. And there are several different ways of doing this while you get here. I usually tend to do before I start rigging my antennas and everything, I try a couple of calls on two meter simplex just to see if I can get a couple of contacts there. And most important of all, don't forget to log your two meter contacts. I'm going to set up hammers here uh, for this park. And I've done a video about how to set up hammers, so I'm not going to do not going to dive too deep into detail on that but make sure you set up some kind of logging because you need to log your contacts even your two meter contacts for this so um, i'll set up hammers and we'll start calling some cq on two for two meters today i'm going to use my retivis r sorry my retivis ra25 mobile rig which i've done a review on it's turned out to be a great rig and good value for money so let's put a couple of calls out there and uh, see if we can log anyone on two meters. Sekutometer, 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 Albenul Fox India, call the sekutometer for parks on the air. Park Lima Alpha 2532, Park Lima Alpha 2532, Frederick Stenfesting, the Albenul Fox India, so call the sekutometer or later. And calling CQ on two meters doesn't always pan out but it's always worth doing it. Maybe you're in an area that are that's busier on two meters than uh, this area, but still just do it. You'll gain some experience and you'll activate the two meter band. Seku two meter, seku two meter, seku two meter for parks on the air. The Albenul Fox India, Albenul Fox India, som kallas seku parks on the air. For park Lima Alpha 2532, Fredriksen Fesning. Seku two meter, seku two meter. And today wasn't one of those days where I was lucky on two meters, but let's uh, set up the antenna on top of the car and see what happens. Right now I've set up the antenna for 10 meters. I've shortened the MFJ 1979 quite a bit to about half its length, about two and a half meters in length. So it's a quarter wave for 10 meters. And it's so windy that I'm really skeptical if I'm going to put it up any further. But uh, let's do a couple of calls on 10 meters and see what happens. If we make the activation on 10, we make the activation on 10. And there's no need for, for any of the lower bands. Perhaps we need to do that, but we'll check the wind first. And as you can see, I've used a nano VNA just to check that the antenna is resonant before hooking up any other equipment. And an antenna analyzer is... a uh, very good tool to bring with you uh, for these kinds of activations. You don't need an antenna analyzer, but it's highly recommended. So let's hook up the equipment and uh, start calling CQ. Okay, I've got rigging this equipment almost down to an art. And it's so windy now that the car is shaking, so I'm really skeptical on putting the uh, whip any taller than it is. So uh, we'll just have a look. But I got the X6100 here up and running. And you can see there's quite a bit of FT8 activity anyway. So uh, if sideband fails, we might be able to do it on FT8. Furthermore, 
I have my phone here on a mag mount ready for logging and uh, today I'm using an amplifier just because the weather is so bad that I might need uh, the little bit of added oomph to it so um, let's go ahead and call some CQs and see what happens CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air. This is Lima Bravo Zero Fox Road India. Lima Bravo Zero Fox Road India calling CQ Parks on the air. Sierra Quebec 9, Oscar QSL. Yes, Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. My name is Patrick. Your rapport is 5959 South Park of Poland. 20 kilometers to the east of Krakow. Uh, Lima Bravo Zero Fox to India, Sierra Quebec 9 Oscar. Sierra Quebec 9 Oscar, Lima Bravo Zero Fox India. Thank you. You're about a 5 and 7, 57 here. So uh, thank you for uh, getting back to me. Happy New Year and 7 3. Okay, uh, people, a little bit of DX co code of conduct here. Wait till I uh, end the previous QSO before calling. QRZ Parks on the air. This is Lima Bravo Zero Fox India. Oscar Hotel Station. Oscar Hotel Station. Uh, please do come again. Roger, Roger, five and nine, five and nine here in uh, southern Norway, QSL. Oscar Hotel Six Golf Alpha Zulu, five and nine here, over. Seven three, QRZ Parks on the air. This is Lima Bravo Zero Fox India. Portable station, portable station, come again first. Oscar, November 4th, Mike, Rolf, Yankee, portable. Oscar, November 4, Mike, Kilo, Yankee, QSL. Mike, Rolf, Yankee, Mike, Germany, Yankee, stroke portable. Let's see, Oscar, November 4, Mike, Golf, Yankee, portable, QSL. Thank you for the five and seven. You're a five and nine here in uh, Norway, uh, seven three. So, um, that's the way you do an activation. Uh, I've only shown you a little bit of my contact today because um, there was a lot, finally. Um, so when you're done activating, um, you got your log in, uh, in hammers or any other logger you use. So keep that log in a safe place until you get home and um, once we get home, I'll show you what to do with the rest. So I'm going to take the equipment down and uh, drive home and I'll see you in a little while. So that was actually just a couple of the contacts that I made today. I actually made about 37 contacts today. But uh, still, we got a log file and we need to upload that. So uh, let's move on back to uh, poda.app and uh, I'll show you how to upload your logs. We're back at uh, the POTA website, and this is how you upload your logs. You click your username on the top right here and choose uh, My Log Uploads, as you can see. And what I've done, I've emailed the logs to myself from Hammers. You click Export ADI File, and uh, you can choose how you want to send it to yourself. So I usually choose email and just email it to myself. Then I've downloaded it on my computer at home, which is far easier than doing this on, uh, on a phone. So we'll just click here. And I got the file right here in my downloads folder. So I'll double click that. You won't be able to see my download folder, but you can see the file is up here. Just check that the fields are somewhat correct here. Date's correct. Call signs correct, parks correct, and the location is correct. 38 phone contacts. Then you check that your logs are correct and that you understand that the logs cannot be modified once uploaded. And uh, you confirm that it uh, it is uh, 
by the rules of Parks on the Air and uh, by the code of conduct for Parks on the Air. When that's done, click Upload File for Validation. And I'll show this in real time just to show you how fast it is. Uh, as you can see up here, it says that the page will refresh in 15 seconds. So we'll just wait for the page to refresh. It'll refresh automatically. And boom, you can see that my contacts are uploaded. When you press the park here, the activation is up here. You can see that I've actually done six activations. I'll still only say five here. That takes a little bit longer to upload, but that's how easy it is. So actually my total number of uh, QSOs to, to the state is 245 from this park, which actually means that I'm working on a kilo award. I'm about quarter of the way there. So uh, we'll get there pretty soon. And that's basically how easy it is to upload your uh, parks on the air contacts. And that's how easy it is to do a parks on the air activation. I sure hope you learned something, uh, or if you've done several parks on the air activations, you might even teach me something. Uh, leave a comment down in the comments if you've got some uh, opinions on this video. And while you're there, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. So thank you for watching and um, hope to see you again, 7-3.